okay welcome back guys um in this part i'm gonna work on setting a uh, frappe server to production server adding a domain and at the same time adding ssl certificates i'm logged out of my server i'll be logging in with the frappe user created during the installation enter your password ls you see your frappy bench sit into the frappy bench to right now to start up the server we use bench starts this is a development mode to make it a production mode where you do not need to have um, start this every time you want the server running use the keywords sudo bench setup production frappy this is the keyword sudo to be a super user, bench the utility, set up the uh, flag and what you want to do. That is the what you want to, or the command you want to execute production and frappy the user, the username. This is going to ask you for your password. Why this configures, we can kind of set up our domain to point directly. This is a name chip domain on your name server changes your name server to basic dns and save then go to advanced dns In this advanced DNS, you can see host name records. Add a new record. You could use a full qualified domain, but I will use a subdomain here. To use a full qualified domain, I'll use a record. Since the domain is gone, I'll simply use it as at. And here, I'll type in the address 11.173. This is the address and save. But since I do not want to use a full qualified domain name, I want to use a subdomain. In here, I'll type frappe. And the domain will become frappe.myhostnamegoes.com and save. Okay, the record has been created. We'll go back to the server. Yeah, this is gonna ask for configuration. You you enter Y. So our data has sorry, our production server is ready. That's what all these logs is for. At the end, it's gonna ask you some question. You click on Y or you type in Y and enter. This has set up our server for us in production. There is no need to type in bench starts anymore. You can open the server by using only the ip address for the now no need for ports you see you can access the server without the ip and when you type in the ip you will not be able to access the server anymore i'm sorry the ports you can only access it with the ip for the now we can't depend on IP, we have to add a domain name and add SSL to add a domain name. You come to the server, type in bench, dash dash help. You use what is called bench. Bench setup, you have setup, you have config. You can look through this for a list of commands you can use, but to do that first, I'll do this bench setup dash dash help. So what you have here is setup add domain name. This is what we use to add the domain name. I'll type bench setup add domain name. What you type here is the name of the domain you want to add. I'll type in frappe.gos. 
dot com enter this will ask me for the name of the site record the name of the site we use is site one dot local or type site one dot local that is the name of the site in the folder after that you do bench setup engine x this will configure the engine x server with the new domain name and our domain will be running on port 80. To also check, you can try to see the site configuration, site1.local. You can see the domain name we just configured is already added to our site configuration. Control X. To be sure everything is running well, restart your server. To restart your bash, your server use this. So we bench, not start, bench restarts. To check our configuration file, the ngx configuration file, and to be sure that our domain name is plugged to it, we use this nano slash etc nginx conf.d frappy. And here we have our configuration setup. Control X to quit this. We can run a test by typing frappy dot goes dot com it may or may not connect if it connects it will connect on an unsecured link you can see it, it says your connection to this site is not secure and how can we solve this issue by adding an ssl encryption frappy has a support for ssl encryption typing this bench setup dash dash help If you use this less encrypt, you encounter issue. I will highly advise you avoid using this for the now and go direct by installing Sadbot and running the Sadbot directly. I will install the Sadbot by using this sudo sudo apt install snapt. Snap is a package manager, more like apt. I think something is missing. You can also add snap core or snap core, something like this. Whatever. After doing that, to install SAT button, let's encrypt type sudo snap install dash dash classic sat box okay this snap has been completely installed to install this snap a uh, snap server i have to go back again Can copy this, paste it online to see what it's talking about. On some server, it will install instantly, but some if you have some issue, all you have to do is debug search online to know the reason why it is not installing. We install this sudo apt install fuse. I was looking at this, you see the complaint complain about fuse fuse package install the fuse snap install fuse so here it is our side bot is installing after installing the fuse package you use the command sudo snap install dash dash classic sad bot. this will install the ssl manager for us from let's encrypt let's encrypt
that's it. The less encrypt has been stored. What to do last is to add the SSL certificates to our Frappe configuration or installation. Do that by sudo satbot dash dash engine x since we are working with engine x server it's asked for the email in which it will send every three months in expiry information about your certificate and other necessary information for the now i will use info at goals.com next ask if you want to accept the terms accept and ask if you want to contribute, just contribute to help the development team. And this is what this is where the problem comes from. If we had used a domain name during the site creation, it will show the domain name. But since we did not use the domain name, we will not see the domain name here. If you type in the site one.looker, you encounter an error. The best thing to do, you cancel this control C sudo nano slash etc slash engine x slash com dot d slash frappe to solve the issue edit this file come down to this site one dot local give it a space type the domain in frappe dot cross dot com control o control x repeat the start bot engine x here you have it select one successfully installed you can reload this and your ssl should come up beautiful you have connection is secure your information for wherever wherever is private check the certificates and you have let's encrypt ssl thanks for watching this is how to set up a production server and install SSL and also pointing or adding domain to the Frappe server or your Frappe framework or your Frappe bench or your Frappe sites. From here, we'll head to the next section. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe.